Harvest season is wrapping up in Texas. Seasonal agricultural workers are getting ready to leave the state to work the harvest in other states. As Channel 5's Taylor Winkle explains, advocates are now warning them to know their rights before they go. The Government Accountability Office is looking into what the Department of Labor and the state is doing to protect domestic citizen workers and workers visiting here from another country on an H-2A agriculture work visa. The report shows what we need to do to protect our guest workers who experts tell us are vulnerable and at the same time it shows we aren't doing enough for our workers already here in the United States. He's worked in produce for 40 years. I worked with all sorts of produce, like onions. That's what was popular when I came over here. That was until he got laid off a month and a half ago. Ramiro Torres tells us he's struggling to find another job. I used to work in a group with people with irrigation. They told me they needed us to do more and more and more. And I would tell them that we have to stop to eat, drink water or rest. But they don't give you time. They want the person to last longer and it's really difficult for me. He's a domestic worker and a citizen here in the United States. He says visa workers are hard to keep up with. The way they work is very different because they are trying to make points with the boss, saying, I can do more, and no, I can do more, and it's a lot of pressure for the employees. An attorney with Texas Rio Grande Legal Aid tells us there's tension between the two groups. The argument has always been that the U.S. worker or the American worker gets undercut by people who don't have status, who are willing to work for less because they're so desperate. They tell us 250,000 farm workers are in Texas, many of those right here in the valley. It's a population they say that's often taken advantage of. Farmers and growers attempt to bring in guest workers when advocates say domestic workers should have first dibs on those jobs. They say domestic workers are given a runaround. Employers tell them they're not qualified because they'd rather employ those visa workers who are not protected under the same workers' rights. It's something labor rights organization Lupe says needs to be checked and it's outlined in this report. As usual, they leave H-2As, the agricultural workers, out in the cold. The workers are often exploited, promised on average about $5 more an hour than domestic workers. That rate is meant to discourage farmers from hiring them. Just because it's promised doesn't mean that's the rate that's always paid. Uh, the wages may not be what we're promised. The uh, working conditions and living conditions in particular are often far substandard. Um, it's just a terrible way to handle uh, temporary workers. It's easy for farmers and growers to have power over these workers. Advocates tell us if workers complain, they can be blocked from ever getting an ag job again. I think I need a different job. Since I would be new, they give a lot of pressure so people will leave on their own. If I miss a day, they replace me quickly because there's other people that want to work. Lupe points to this as proof that the Department of Labor needs more oversight over agriculture workers. If you or someone you know working in agriculture is experiencing exploitation, they can call the Texas Rio Grande Legal Aid at the number you see on your screen. That's 1-800-369-0574. And if you missed that, we'll have a link to it on our website after the newscast. In the studio, Taylor Winkle, Channel 5 News at 10.